Hi, welcome to Miss Emily's Kitchen. I'm Miss Emily. We're here today for episode eight. Only three more episodes left of season one. And as a little surprise for our kind of end of season starting to wrap up, we're trying out some new camera equipment today. We were gonna save it for season two, but we were just so excited. So you might notice things look a little more crisp, a little more clear. But yeah, so we're here today for one of my favorite things to make for a quick lunch or dinner. It's our gnocchi pesto bowls. Now I keep a lot of these ingredients in my pantry always, so you might already have some of this stuff on hand. Well, let's take a look at all of our ingredients. All right, so today for ingredients, one of the main things you'll need is a package of chicken sausage. Doesn't really matter what flavor you use. Actually, it doesn't even matter if they're chicken or not. I just like it because it's a little low in fat. Today I have a basil pesto mozzarella one. Just kind of give it a little extra flavor. And then a box of potato gnocchi. Now, if you've never had gnocchi before, it's like a chewy pasta that's actually made from mashed potatoes. You're gonna need some salt and pepper. You'll need about two tablespoons of pesto. Now that you can make this yourself, or I just buy it in the jar, because that's also just as good. You will need about a tablespoon of shredded Parmesan cheese, about a quarter cup of crumbled feta, a whole zucchini, the juice of half a lemon. I know you can't really see it here, but about a tablespoon of oil. I have sunflower oil today, but whatever oil you like. Now let's take a look at everything you're gonna need to make this for utensils. And now here's all the utensils you'll need to make it. A foil line baking sheet. A cutting board. A knife. A wooden spoon, a mixing bowl, a medium sized pot, and a strainer. All right, now to start cooking. So you're first gonna to wanna to make sure your oven is preheated to 425 degrees, since we're gonna be roasting our sausage and our zucchini. And you'll get everything set up. So I have my sausages, zucchini, and lemon, some salt, pepper, and oil. I'm gonna start by chopping our chicken sausage just into nice little, oh, about inch, little inch size coins. One of the important things, you're gonna to wanna to try to make sure everything's about the same size. So when it cooks, it cooks nice and evenly. I think for this, I'm gonna use about two lengths of sausage. Don't need a huge portion today. So we'll take these, chop them up. And my sausages, some you can buy them if they're pre-cooked. I don't believe mine are. So I'm gonna roast mine first before I put them in with the gnocchi. So just laying them all out nice and flat on the pan. All right, and then we're gonna do the exact same thing with our zucchini. Just cut off either end. And cut into some little coins. You might not need the whole thing. You just kind of want an even amount of the chicken sausage and the zucchini. As you can see, my zucchini is a little bit bigger. So I'm actually gonna take these and cut them in half. So that way you can fit everything on your fork nicely at the end. It's nice, this is one of those one pan, one pot dishes. Don't have to dirty up too much in your kitchen. Cut these. Ooh. and however much you think is right. I love this recipe because it's really nice. You can kind of use whatever vegetables you have in your fridge. If you've got some asparagus, if you want to use broccoli instead of zucchini, that's definitely okay too. No matter what, it's going to get roasted in with the chicken sausage and pick up all that good sausage flavor. All right, let's see, just a couple more. As long as everything's nice and flat, that way it'll get a nice crisp on it. All right, perfect. So now we've got our zucchini and sausage. We're gonna drizzle our tablespoon of oil on it. If it was just the sausage on its own, it wouldn't really need the oil, but the zucchini could benefit from a little bit. Take our lemon, add a little bit of lemon juice. I'm just using my hand to catch the seeds. Don't want that in there. And then you're gonna need a little bit of pepper. Thankfully, the sausage has a lot of flavoring on its own, but just a little extra for the zucchini. A little salt. All right. 
And then this is gonna go into your 425 degree oven for about 15 minutes. You're also gonna to wanna to put your pot of water on to boil so that we'll be ready to do our gnocchi. So we'll put this in the oven, check back. All right, so now our veggies and sausage have been roasting in the oven for 10 minutes. We still have five minutes left, so it's the perfect time to cook our gnocchi. Our water is boiling, so we're gonna take our gnocchi and add it in carefully. Mine likes to try to splash at me a little bit. All right, so you'll wanna stir this around and make sure it doesn't stick to the bottom. It's kind of just like cooking regular pasta. Only when this, you'll know this is done when the gnocchi floats. Once it floats, you're gonna to wanna to cook it for three minutes longer and then drain it off. So we'll be back when that's done. All right, now everything's cooked and ready to assemble. We have our sausages and zucchini out of the oven over here, nice and golden brown on top. Make sure to have a big mixing bowl ready. It's where we're gonna assemble everything. Have your salt and pepper, your pesto, your feta, Parmesan cheese, and our gnocchi that's all cooked and draining. So we're gonna start by taking our gnocchi and adding it to the bowl. Everything's still nice and hot. Perfect. And then we're gonna take our sausage and zucchini and just scrape it on in. Get a little stuck. Get a little scraping over here. Got all those nice cooked bits on the bottom. We're gonna add so much flavor to the dish. This is why I also like using the tin foil because it keeps my pans clean. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and add in our Parmesan cheese. Everything's steaming so it'll start to melt. Add in our feta. And then add in about two tablespoons worth of this pesto. I love this because you don't really need to cook it because it's already just its own nice sauce. All right, so there's about two tablespoons worth. Add in a little more salt and pepper. So that gnocchi is kind of bland. You notice we're not really using any garlic in this recipe. Most pesto recipes have garlic in it, so you don't really need to worry about it. All right, now we're just gonna mix everything together. And since it's all nice and hot, it'll help the cheese melt. You can kind of see the Parmesan starting to melt. Pesto's all nice in there. All right, and that is actually all it takes. So you're ready to serve this up feeds about four to six people from this, depending how big, of course, you want your portions to be. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Miss Emily's Kitchen. Make sure to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our page. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. We'll see you in our next episode. Thanks.